today i will be uh, show you a microsoft dataverse solution on power bi okay so the problem is here you can see this is a dataverse uh, table and this is a multiple uh, selection column okay uh, let me show you it's in a multiple selection column so what is the problem is here this multiple uh, selection uh, column or takes data from the choice column let's see here the choice column this is the health organization specialist and here you can see this is the health organization specialist if i go to the edit column you will be see here the schema is health organization specialist okay now here it shows the text but when you are trying to connect this data into power bi then you will be see instead of text it shows the numeric value over there okay this is the main problem and there are no uh, direct way i mean easiest way to extract switch value to the power bi but we need it then how we can accept it but i just solved it using the web api i mean here you can see the health uh, category uh, specialist this is the value of this number and you can be located on this uh, yeah this is our health organization specialist choice and here you can see there are many value so instead of this text it shows this value for the multiple selection column now uh, we will be extract this text value instead of this numeric value i mean we will be extract the level instead of this uh, numeric value okay so let me show you the output so the output should be looks like health organization specialist you can see there are two uh, text level but in previously it was two numeric value so uh, we just write some uh, query and then achieve our goal so in this case uh, i am using your the web api and then uh, global upfront set definitions okay so here we just need to input the organization url and then api data v9.2 global option uh, definition so uh, let's do it i'll be uh, take a uh, blank query over there so new source and then blank query and i'll be just copy this and here you just need to input i mean uh, you just need to change the site name here so how you can get this so let's say this is our uh, site uh, and here you will be see an a gear icon and then session details and here you will be see the instance url so just copy this instance url and replace our there okay i'll be share with you uh, the codes that you don't need uh, to write again okay so once you uh, just copy paste and uh, change the instance url then you'll be see a uh, table I mean query looks like now just click on this list and you will be see the list and then uh, to table convert to table then ok then expand and I will be expand here the options and then expand to new rows then again expand then value and level I will be take here value and level because we need this now you can see it shows the values here but uh, we need also the uh, table name because you can see uh, here in our choice there are lots of choices are available so we need here also this name 
I mean this thing otherwise it can be mixed so what should be the step so the step should be I'll be delete this uh, few step and then uh, I'll be go to again from source and then again step from list and then convert to table then ok then expand and here I need the name and options name options ok now I got this the all table names you can see here now it shows the table name here now we can navigate it easily ok now I'll be expand this new rows and then again expand I'll be expand values and level and then I'll be expand this uh, level user localized level okay now again I'll be expand levels now you can see we achieve our goal and here all value level and the uh, table name I mean this is our choice list like um, capability sorry this is not campaign communication status so this is our choice and here if I go down and advance option and we will be see here this is the name of this tab of the choice so now you can easily navigate uh, here which one you need like I need the choice like um, specialist I'll be use the same one here uh, okay now I extract healthcare organization specialist okay and this is our value and this is our level but the again one question is let me duplicate it and that it can be my original one and let me delete every options and then okay now we got here the healthcare organizational specialist okay so this is our healthcare organizational specialist now we will be find the column this is our column and here you can see health organizational specialist and here there are few values now we will be write here a custom function for extract this column to new rows and that will be use the march function okay now add column custom column and here will be right here text dot split and then this is the table name comma also you'll be find this name over there just scroll down and you'll be find CR uh, CR 5 to 6 health care organizational specialist I think something down yeah healthcare organizational uh, specialist just you can drag and drop this or you can write this okay so like that you can see that it's same okay now comma then delimiter uh, double quotes uh, and then keep here a comma then it will be split okay now close the bracket and then hit ok now you can see there are a, uh, another list it shows where it's a multiple uh, multiple uh, text that it's now splitted okay now here I'll be expand to new rows and then here I'll be just march queries with uh, this healthcare organizational specialist now value and then I'll be select here this value and then uh, okay now I will be expand the level only okay now you can see that there have a problem it shows null why because in here sorry expand custom 
we need this custom column text both should be text so here in this sheet here you will be see it shows an a data type any but we have to change this to text okay now if I go to this table and here you can see now the level are shows perfectly okay now we'll be just make another function that it can be goes to a single row okay I'll be just uh, uh, skip this last two and we'll be select everything just uh, press control uh, sorry shift and then select everything and then uh, transform group data and here I'll be select sum here I'll be select the level and click OK now choose the error now will be just modify a small thing here text dot combine okay and here after level I'll be input here a comma then uh, quotes comma now here you can see uh, I'll be making a space here okay now perfect now you can see uh, it shows the text here health specialist we made it the custom column for uh, health category organizational specialist if I go here health category organizational specialist okay so this was the raw and uh, we write some custom uh, function and now get the text value from the Microsoft Dataverse uh, search column so in this way you can uh, solve your problem uh, for the multiple selection this is the uh, sample definition of it so if you have a single selection then you don't need to write any uh, extra query you can just get the value directly but if you have multiple selection then instead of the text value it will be show the values looks like the numeric and uh, there are no options to directly connect my data word search to power bi so using this uh, web api version 9.2 uh, and follow this step you can achieve your goal and extract the uh, text data Thank you.